How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of the Wheel of Fortune. I'm bringing you this on my birthday. I've actually edited this and recorded this audio on my birthday, so I hope you guys appreciate this. But here's another episode of Wheel of Fortune, and this has changed my opinion of a gun for the first time this episode has. So we get the autoloader, we get the medic class, the autoloader, and um, we did get the boar shard, but we don't have that for the medic, so we are using the auto revolver. And instead of using the club, I thought, let's switch it up, cogwheel club. I'm using the incendiary, medic pouches, and syringe, because what are you doing playing as a medic if you don't have a syringe or medic pouches on? That's my personal opinion. Now, first thing I want to say is, this medic gun is an absolute kill streak beast. I never, I didn't think it would be. I've used it once, maybe, but I used it in three games to just, just to see how the varied clips I could get. And obviously a lot of you guys, if you've got the Vayas Not Pass DLC, you're used to using the factory variant for the to get, unlock the RSC, and you would have probably come to the conclusion like I did, that it was one of the worst guns in the game, it was just awful to use. The damage is crap, the accuracy is crap. This thing is so good, I didn't expect it to be this good. So close range, you can, it's a bit like the sweeper close range, I'd say hit and the sweeper are about par and close range. Long range, this thing's quite good. If you line up the shots, take your time, which you can do with the medic now and again at certain ranges and kills. It is really good. It's a really good gun, and I didn't expect it to be. So it was a really good surprise, actually. And I'd advise using it at close range. I was out gunning some assault classes when I got the uh, when I got my taps down to the great timing. Now I'm using the extended variant of this gun. Uh, which is the bayonet, normal iron sights, with the legendary skin. I do have the legendary skin for it, which is quite handy. But in a lot of these clips, you see me getting multiple kills with the primary, which is pretty insane. You know, I, I wasn't expecting what what I did get with it, which is really good. Uh, but as you can see, I'm pretty dominating with this gun at the moment, and you know, I got. I got so many multiple kills this gun, I didn't expect that. And as I'm an aggressive medic, I'm already in quite close range in people's faces, so I had to play that way. Now the secondary gun, um, the auto revolver, is phenomenal. It's really good, didn't expect it to be that good either. It's But most revolvers are good in this game. Two shots close range and you get the kill. Or three or four shots depending on the range they're at. So it comes really good, especially when you run out of ammo with the medic gun, you can swap to this gun, and if you've hit them a few times with your primary, you can finish them off with the secondary. So I'd advise trying it out. I'd advise trying all the revolvers out if you like to take a sort of methodical approach to using your secondary. And the melee weapon was... I just like the melee weapon. I like the look of it. I like the story behind why they have a cogwheel club. But also the power behind it, it takes about two hits to kill them, and the, the normal club takes about three, if they're full health it takes three hits, which is really frustrating for a, a player if you hit them first and they, they can kill you faster with a trench mace or something like that, but this thing was great and I think it breaks wood, so it was a really good melee weapon, and the incendiary grenade, the incendiary grenades are just, I love the incendiary grenades in this game. Uh, I'm a very objective, aggressive player, so if I need to clear out an objective, I throw the fire. If I need to cover myself to revive someone, I'll throw the fire. It, it'll do enough damage to armor as well, you can take out some tanks with it. There's a clip in here where I take out a tank with the incendiary grenade. And I use medic pouches and syringes. Now, syri you need a medic pouch as a medic, I don't care. You shouldn't really be using anything other than the medic pouches and syringes in in my eyes, but that's that's how I feel about the class really. And personally, you need to keep your sort of people alive, so the syringe is necessary and the medic class with the medic pouches is one of the most underrated players in a game of battlefield because you can keep the team going, especially in a game of frontline. If anyone's played that you'll see how many medics actually play that game and how many of them continue to keep keep the game alive by reviving people and making sure people are still by the objective. That's the most important part of a medic, I'd say, and a medic class is that. Sorry for the voice break, I'm still suffering from man flu, as you can probably hear. But yeah, I was really impressed with this class. 
played over three games on Conquest and essentially it was just really good and probably one of the best games I've had with a medic was like I had like extended clip on the auto loading rifle and it was insane it was absolutely insane and I just felt I just feel like with with the medic class with the pouches you can be so mobile as a medic you can throw them to up to 20 meters I think it is and you can throw them help people up and they'll constantly go up and the amount of kill streaks I got as I said at the start I just can't believe how many I got with this gun it's kind of stupid how I'm not sure if it's just because the maps I was playing, the people I was playing, or how I was playing, because I was playing quite well last night. Um, but either way, it it just blew my mind, and I think I'll use this gun a lot more, especially in close range maps, medium to close range, such as Amion. My favourite medigan at the moment was the RSC. It has been the Seb Stellada, but I may start using the Ors loading on medium to short range, but I still want to do a Wheel of Fortune on the RSC just to show how how good I think the gun is and how much credit it deserves for how good it is but yeah we, this thing is so good so so good and you can really outgun I was outgunning assaults as I was saying and they really can't do anything about it you, you sort of really really in their faces with it really uh, which is a really good thing so yeah I would say give this a go give this class a go Tell me what you think of the if you like the auto loading, if you've been using the factory variant, give the extended a go, and definitely use uh, medic pouches and syringes. But this this is gonna be it for this video, guys. I am gonna go in and enjoy my birthday now. Hope you guys enjoy the video and appreciate I'm doing it on my birthday. But yeah, thanks for all the love, guys. 285 su subscribers. I say survive. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out. We have lost objective Freddy. Forza con la cassetta medica. Posso curare quelle ferite. Cassetta medica, rimettiti in sesto. Thank <laughs> you.